it's important for each of us to know and reflect how much patriotism and sacrifice has come from our town of Crete. Crete residents have participated in all major conflicts as well as peacetime service. There are a number of people whose names should always echo throughout our town because they never came home on our behalf. I'd like to read their names. From the Civil War, John, John W. Bowman. Oh, he lived in the Red House right over here. Move the speaker. Oh. William Ponske. James Mulligan. I Sorry about that. <laughs> James Mulligan. Edwin C. Richards. Alfred Quackenbush. Robert Haig. George C. Hughes. Orland Hughes. Henry Casta. Conrad Ingleking. Frederick Adrian. Myron H. Cook. August Meyer. And Edwin Horace Adams. In the Spanish-American War, we lost two people, John Brackman, Jr. and John Patton. I don't know how many people know about the Spanish-American War. It lasted from April 22nd of 1898 to December 10th, so it was a short-lived time. But we lost two guys. 80% of our casualties were from uh, tropical diseases. That was probably the case with these guys. World War I, Martin Biesterfeld. That, that stone over there is a memorial to him. Uh, World War II, Kenneth Currier, William Lawrence Epley, John Fancher, Charles D. Ginn, Norman William Greasy, Raymond Emmett Hawes, Donald Meek, Francis Morris, Robert G. Ron, William C. Stenning, Robert H. Weeks, Harold Withers. After World War II, we fought, lost First Lieutenant Willard L. Emperor. Korean War, Gerald Leon Hair. Vietnam War, Nicholas John Draco. Charles Gaddis. Robert W. Grant. Terrence E. Kiersnowski. Glenn Allen Parks. Charles B. Penn. Greg A. Stisser, the Multinational Peacekeeping Force in 1985, Private First Class Michael Edward Craig, and in the Persian Gulf War, Lance Corporal James K. Muirhead. These 41 names were Treat's own family and friends. We should pray to God that we never add any more names to this list. Please have a blessed Memorial Day.